hello guys and welcome so in this video we are going to protect our sensitive data in our Django project okay let's see why we need to protect our sensitive data first of all it is sensitive data and let's say you are pushing your code on github and by mistakenly some sensitive data is being pushed on your github or git so it will be a plus point for attackers to attack your data. So our Django project has lots of sensitive data. We will be using Python decouple library for protecting our sensitive data in our Django project. Our Django settings.py file has lots of sensitive data. Let's say it has sensitive data like secret key, debug true or false, allowed host, then databases, name, username, password, etc. So by default it is visible to everyone. So we need to protect these things. So for that, we will be using Python decouple and will create a .env or .ini file. So first we'll install Python decouple. So pip install Python decouple. Okay, and hit enter. This will install Python decouple in your virtual environment. Okay. Now, we'll create a .env or .ini file extension. So, let's create .env file. So, we'll create a .env file in sample folder. So, new file .env okay and hit enter okay now our dot env file is being created take the secret key which we want to protect so we'll take secret key and paste it here then we need to protect debug we'll keep it in dot env file then we need to keep the database names so what we'll do we'll create variables here so database name so we have imported all the data which we want to protect here so we'll save this file now we'll import the dot env file here so we'll import from the couple import config okay so this is decouple library where we are importing okay save this one then we need to replace this because we have written the secret key in dot env file so type config round brackets and in that the name of the variable secret key okay save okay we have done one thing here we don't need to keep our data in quotes okay save similarly we can give it here the debug then we can go for database and here config in that and the database name variable the variable name is db name okay similarly we'll do for db user db password and db host okay so we have imported all the variables which we have written in dot env file okay now save so we have protected our django project with sensitive data where we have written sensitive data in .env file. Now we can ignore this .env file in 
git ignore. This is further process when we are uploading our project on GitHub. Now let's save everything and then let's see if it is everything is working fine. So we'll type python manage.py run server and as you can see everything is working fine. So that's it was in this video. If you like my video, give a like, thumbs up and comment below and visit my blog studygan.com where I share Python and Django tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.